Hello, my beautiful, amazing people. How you all doing? Happy New Week to you all. Guys, it's like this uh, Chijoke and Aisha. They are using this, their marriage crisis to create content and to make money for their platform also. Because I thought Chijoke was the shameless one yesterday. The last video I did about them, I thought he was really shameless and childish of him. But uh, today, Aisha has replied Chijoke. And I don't see any reason why she should reply a childish video Odogu did. There was no need. And Aisha reply shows me that she's even more the childish one than uh, Odogu. So two of them... They are shameless. That is what I can say. So if this thing is not paining you, this your marriage crisis is not paining you, you are using it to create content, then who am I? So me too, I go use them. Take cruise. So nobody should come for me that, uh, why are you using somebody's pain? No, it's not paining them. All. They are even happy showing their shameless attitude outside. So make we help them broadcast them. That is why they brought it to social media. Make we help them share. So I'm also helping them to show their stupidity. You, Aisha, if you loved your husband, you wanted your marriage, you shouldn't have left your matrimonial home to the extent you packed everything. You packed your son's every property. You even took television from the war. That is the only property you had in the house, Abby. So if it was the car, your family car, you were you, you contributed, you would have carried it. If the house, you were the one that bought it or you contributed, you for lock the man outside, call police for her. Your only property that you had in the marriage, a gift that was given to the two of you for on a wedding day, you remove them from the war. No. A woman who is angry and still wants her marriage doesn't do that. You take your overnight bag. I don't say you shouldn't have left because you are angry. Yeah, you are entitled to, to act whatever way you want to act. You take overnight bag. That is how we do it. You remember those days when with the guy boyfriend now, you they stay with her, the guy offend you. Would they call him paper bag marriage? You go just use your paper bag, carry your load back to your papa house. Then he go come, they beg you, beg you. Then you go go back again. That is what you do. You take overnight bag. You move. And then your husband sees that your property is still in the house. We not think the marriage is over. Rather knows that you are angry. So he will rather come looking for you and be begging. But what did you do? You took everything. And it pains your husband that the only television you people had in the house, you took it. So when he came, there was no television for him to watch. So even when he was begging, the guy was still showing the world that this is what she did. I am pained. We not talk about that one. We were angry. What did you do? At the end of the day, you came out to tell us, say, in get nine years old picking outside that he didn't tell you. And in your video, which you showed us, the man was saying that he was not aware that he had a child that this girl told him that he was pregnant and he told he thought it was a joke and he won't collect money for me. That was it, and he never saw the girl again. He moved on. That was seven years before he met you. And you people dated, I don't know how long, and you guys got married. So two years later, bam, somebody showed up picking, say nine years old. Which your husband claimed that he's not even aware that this child is existing. So what we were expecting from you, Aisha, come and show us proof that this guy is aware of the child. Maybe in the send her money before now. Maybe in the go visit the Peking and he didn't tell you. Then we go know your reason of this action. Because this you're packing out of the house. Me, I don't see the reason for you to leave your marriage because that child was there before you. And the man saying, no, no. So you want, you they beat somebody for something that he doesn't, he's not even aware. I be in tell you say he has not slept with any girl before he met you. Did he tell you he's a virgin and you teach him how to do the thing? No. So me, I don't understand where you and your people, they take this issue to. Maybe it's just my thinking. So please, anybody that watched this video, leave your comment behind for me to make me understand. 
Because I don't try to check this thing. This thing, the man say, he no know. That it was the day that Aisha knew that him himself also know about the existence of this child. Why you they beat somebody for something when he no know? Fine. Now the the cat has been let out of the bag. Which way forward? What do you do? If you're angry, call your family, call his family. They sit in your living room and they discuss which way forward. Not you hiding like a baby. You don't hide. The man don't beg, beg. You, you don't know, say, men are outside. The useless one, they are advising him. You don't know that. Because now, you don't give him listening ears. His ears is for somebody's ears. And whatever junk they are putting, he's taking it. He came to your family house to beg you. You hide from her. You and your family did not even allow him to see you. You sent him away. You say make he come back. Not even you, your family. He came back. They say make he go come with him King's May. Which to me is even a bigger embarrassment. Because if you are ditching this embarrassment to him alone, it's okay. He go say he deserve. But what did the King's Men do for you, you guys to embarrass the King's Men as well? I've been at the King's Men. I used to make he sleep with the girl. Or the King's Men is aware of this child. Or now the King's Men, they take care of the picking ever since. And they did not let you know. You say make he bring King's Men. Bring King's Men. What did you people do? You embarrass them. When I put small, small elders for there to be shouting. You people are shouting like market people there. When I send them away. When I say me they come back in four days time. So for this time, those King's Men, they don't have their own family issues. They don't have anything they are doing. I've been at the same village when I come from. So obviously, this guy is going to drive back, drop everyone for their family home. Then for this time, we'll go and be picking them again. You know, not saying a stress for the guy as well. So maybe he kept them somewhere to save him costs, put them in a hotel, feeding them, begging them not to be angry. I don't know. I'm just saying. Then for this time, he came. What did you people do? You people did not even sit down. <clears throat> to discuss the way forward. Okay, oh, now you're picky. Do you want to marry the, the mother of the child so that we know whether now two wife you want to get? Our picky say no. She don't want to be a second wife or she don't want to have a mate. Which way forward? You guys did not sit down to even discuss those things. Eh, okay, come and sign an agreement that you are never going to marry the mother of that child and you are never going to bring another child again. And this will be the end. Anytime you do such a thing, this is what we will do to you. No. Rather, when I come they tell the guy, make it go and go do DNA test. What is your family's business in the DNA test? So if you do the DNA test, this is my own question to you, Aisha and her family. And the <coughs> results says Chijoke is not the father of the child do you know what that will do to you and your family your marriage is doomed forever because Chijoke and the family will be saying so Aisha can actually put this kind of thing if actually the child is is she will do worse hey this girl is dangerous so her family is not good though Oga, be careful with this family this one not be not be wife oh this girl will show you nine nine tomorrow. Good. Then if the child eventually turns out to be his, I beg Aisha, what thing you and your family want to do? Una go undo what you guys have just done. You have done your worst by moving out of the marriage. That is the highest Aisha you would do, which you have already done. And the guy is begging. You are telling him to go and do DNA. Do DNA before you will not do what? That is what I want to ask. You would have been saying, go and do DNA when you are still in your matrimonial home. Then if the result turned out to be uh, uh, positive that he is the father, then you will move out of your matrimonial home. Then the man will not be begging. So there was no need for this DNA. This DNA, now between Odogu and the mother of the child, now then get this dragging of DNA. That Odogo will be telling the mother to come and let's go and do DNA for the Peking. Let me know whether this child is mine or not before I will start to take responsibility of the child. Asha, you have no business telling Odogo to go and do DNA. DNA is not the issue at hand. The issue at hand is that somebody came with a child that he has a child. Acha, what is the way forward? Do you want to bring that child to your matrimonial home or you will tell your husband, I don't want to see this child anywhere around me. Whatever you do with the child is none of my business. All I want is don't bring any child or don't bring any woman 
to our home those are the kind of discussion or what is the way any property we are going to be buying we are going to be buying it in my children's name so that tomorrow if anything happen this child that is not here the mother is not here i am the one suffering and making this money with you and then the child they will not say hey now she be the first child she will come and take the uh, the better share you would that is the discussion you would not be having with your husband to say okay or well, from now ends what well, any investment we are doing it should be in my children's name those are the kind of decision you should be taking on your own if not with your husband so me i don't see this uh, hide and seek game that you and your family were not doing now the guy is listening to some group of people see what he's not doing you are paint this was what i was trying to prevent when i said you took the wrong decision and your family are not advising you rightly aisha you get where you go stay rich for that they will tell you me you can't come out yes because not be your base be that it's even showing on you look at what you are even saying you are, there was no need for you to make this video look at what you are even saying you abandoned your wife and your child in the village and you went to go and be enjoying yourself in lagos really aisha are these words coming out from you did she joke took you to the village how many times did she joke come there to pick you you blocked him on all avenue where he could reach you and eventually when the guy was able to dissect your video that you are in your matana village he still came to beg you home you refused when I say, go bring a king's man he bring the una embarrass them you still did not go with your husband and now you are saying he abandoned you please aisha your husband is full himself with all those videos he's making you too, please don't go, don't go, don't go this lane with him. Stop making these videos you are making. You have taken your stand, you have taken your stand. If he not come beg you again, wait till when you decide to go back to your marriage, carry your bag and go back. If you don't want to go back, then do whatever you want to do. This one, you tell him, hey, come collect bright price. If you yourself are tired, send the bright price to him. If you don't want to collect bright price, uncle, will that stop you from doing what you want to do? Will it stop you from going to marry another man? Are you drawn me to go and marry another man now? Or you are going to think of what next? When I mean what next? Where to live? You are not obviously not going to stay in the village forever. So the next step is what next? Where are you going to live? Are you going to pick up a job? Are you going to continue with your content cre creation? So you, cre you start creating your content and be making money. I, what do you do? Who go take care of you? Need a nanny to be taking care of your child. Why you face whatever you want to face? Not be this. Yeah, come and collect your bride price. Come and collect your bride price. Oh, now be say marriage don't over. If marriage over, you no want to get. Chijoke okay, have not said marriage over. The guy don't come beg you to carry you now. You know, grief for long. And if you decide to say marriage don't over, like they say, many suitors, men, they can't seek your hand. Then you send the bride price. They are yes now. Call in people. Tell them that you are coming to drop the bride price. Then we'll go drop the bride price. If they're not going to take her, yeah, we're not saying that they're not going to take her. So all this to me, all this reply you are giving is still childish. So that is why sometimes I think, now nah, prank will they make. So why you guys are making your pranks? Because me, I not think say this thing is real anymore. Why you guys are making your pranks? Let me be creating my content. I beg. So nobody should come for me. Whatever you think, please leave it in the comment section. Let's dialogue. What is going on? Why are these people fooling themselves? So me, it's not only the man that is fooling himself anymore, but both of them. I said, you kept on saying this norm, this norm. What is the norm? What is the norm? There is never a time you can compare yourself with a man. I know they know who they deceive now with this issue. Shane and the man carried the picking for nine months. Look at the man enjoying himself for Lagos now. You are stuck with the baby. That is the difference, Aisha. If you abandon that, you're picking for the village now. And then as well, go to Abuja and enjoy yourself. The world, society will come out for you. That is the difference. Because the child did not plan for the two of you to decide to bring him or her to this world, then on a game misunderstanding, they will now come abandon the child. That child came out from you. Did not see the guy only put spam. The child had a bonding with you. You see, you you are going to make your video. Should be you they carry your picking for back. It means you cannot even afford to leave the child for one minutes with a stranger maybe not picking when not they follow strangers 
or you not even trust your family members to leave your child with you had your child in your bag but chijoke is on his own in a hotel enjoying himself that is the difference so don't let anybody deceive you that and uh, the norm the norm the norm it's not society not our fault it is our creator that is the way he has created it and when you are also benefiting from that picking when you put for back that is why uh, we will not blame you the picking will always remember that bonding that you are having with this child you will benefit it later do you know how many children they abandon papa they don't even know whether they get papa but their mama they go no then chijoke in future will come they say Aisha has poisoned my son against me. No, the child has bonded with the mother. That is what you are suffering for. You will also enjoy it later. So you cannot say, not be safe for woman to wear trousers and make her a man. Eh, 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 eh. I shall grow up. I shall grow up. Learn. And your mother is not even helping issues at all. She's not even, you guys are young in your marriage. Problem will always come. But you people, you swear to, I say no dogo. Is it not the two of you that is teaching us about my happy marriage? Are you not the people that are teaching people outside there? People are learning from you. So you guys were just deceiving the public. That is why I say you see this social media. All of them are fake. What they come out to show you? No, they believe that two minutes clip that they show you. They do video finish. They enter as a fight. See, see marriage counselors that you people are telling us that praying that people are not praying that their marriage should be like your own. Now, now they disgrace on herself for outside. Just one temptation. One. I beg. I beg. My people, I don't know how I see this matter. Please, make one help me shook mat for inside the matter. Because me too, self, I am learning from this. So that other people can as well learn. Whatever you think, please leave it in the comment section. I still remember your girl, Julie Arms Gis. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please support your girl by subscribing. Hit that notification bell so that each time I upload a video like this, you will get notified. Anyone that is still watching the video to this point, I say God bless you. You too much. You guys are the best.